MovieWeb.com. Begin by asking about the relationship between Molly and Cyrus in the film, because it's very unusual and interesting. How would you describe it? Is it sort of codependent? Um, I think it's really in the eyes of the holder. I think you think it's codependent. <laughs> I, I do. How, do, well, how, do you, how did you see it? Um, I well, it's you can't. I can't really answer that. As I mean, there's me, the person, the viewer, and then there's me inside the character, and the character doesn't see it that way, of course, at all, because she's in the middle of it. So she's just. I mean, they're obviously they have a great relationship. They have. Um, they have. Uh, they make each other laugh, and they hang out, and they are like curious about the world together and um, and she also has her own life um, you don't see that so much in the movie but she does and um, you know it's just come a time where they're just like in a weird growing stage an awkward growing stage so is that sort of what the film focuses on you think is that this point in their lives where it's sort of coming to a to a cross I think the directors yeah really look for what where things are gonna get weird <laughs> between human relations. Yeah, yeah. Could, could you talk about how um, you worked with uh, John C. Riley on the sex? I understand you guys didn't meet until the characters actually met. Is that, mm. how, how was that process for you? Well, I mean, we, yeah, we didn't, I mean, we've met before in the past, a long time ago, but then um, we just didn't get together beforehand because we didn't need to. I mean, we just, right. that was the first time they met, so it's better to just leave it like that. So, um, yeah, so the you know it was a party scene that's perfect, and the guys really set it up perfectly. And you yeah. talk about working with the directors, and and because they have a very different style and sort of interesting way of of mm. working. How was that for you? Uh, it was great. I mean, they they wrote a really great script, and it was really uh, really hard to want to go away from the script. I, we never wanted to. All three of us loved what they had written, but a lot of times they like us to break it apart in improv and see what other weirdness, I guess, can, we, can it be even more awkward? Is it difficult sort of balancing the comedy and the drama? Because it's really both in the movie. Um, yeah, that's an interesting thing, the tone, tonally, what they might be going for. It was hard to really know. Uh, so they, I mean, it's like this uber naturalistic style. So I think that already, and it's more how they're gonna cut it and what they're gonna focus their lens on. So. Um, we can. We knew we were making a comedy, but we knew it was supposed to be really real. So that's the actors' part of it. And then they really had a really clear vision, and they had a great editor, and um, they were able to maintain that tone. Yeah, it's a fine line that they they walk. Uh, do you feel like the comedy really came out of sort of the awkward moments? It seems like they really allowed the camera to kind of stay right on a moment and catch the sort of uncomfortableness. Is that mm -hmm. where the sort of you think the humor of the film comes from? Yeah, I think that's that's what makes J. Mark laugh is seeing people squirm like <laughs> <laughs> John C. Riley, Jonah Hill, Marissa Tomei, Catherine Keener. Listen to me, you little weirdo. If you wanna mess with me, I wanna mess with you right back. Oh buddy. Everything okay? Yeah.